They think you're better than them. That's why they have to say it like that. That's why they're even acting out in the first place is because your mere presence provoked them. You literally existing, showing up, triggered their insecurities. They feel humbled, so they want to humble you back. It's insecure behavior. Hey bestie, welcome to the Spoiled Girly Support Group Podcast where we talk about how to get that bag while also securing your own bag. I'm your host Elle and let's get into it. On today's episode, we are talking about men's obsession with humbling women and how it's because they themselves feel humbled and thus need to project the emotions towards us. But before we get into it, I need you to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you never miss a spoiled girly episode. With that being said, let's get into it. Do you want, okay. what's, what's your costume? I'm Aurora, like Sleeping Beauty. You're what? Sleeping Beauty and she's Maleficent. I don't know what the hell is that. It's a Disney movie. You're Disney. I'm a Disney princess and she's like the villain in my movie. I swear, I have been in conversations with people and they will say like the craziest things just to keep the conversation going. Like, we full well know that this man knows who Sleeping Beauty is, but he's going to pretend that he doesn't so that she would get all worked up and try to talk to him more. Like, I watch like Game of Thrones. Okay. It's all right. People know what it is. I love how his opinion didn't really matter to her. She's like, okay, well, people know what it is. You don't. A little uncultured. Well, hey, as a beautiful woman like you, how often do you get complimented? <laughs> how often do I get complimented? She can answer. You got a how deep often? voice. I'm. My voice is gone. Oh. Like, that's why it's deep. I love how he starts off with a compliment and then follows it with an insult. It's like a jab cross combo of men who neg you. He already knows that she's pretty and she's beautiful but he has to like insert an insult there. Like, oh, you're so beautiful, but you have a deep voice. I've always wondered why men keep doing this and I have two reasons. Number one, this is how they talk to their bros. Like one reason why I can't be around men and ever be friends with men is because they're just not nice to each other. Like I don't vibe with how they talk with each other. And that's probably because I'm not a man. I don't get it. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing and they need to change because it probably serves a higher social purpose and that's why they talk to each other this way. I just know that it's not my vibe and I don't want to be around it. Like the closer guys are to each other, the more they love each other, the more they will insult each other. Like that's their love language and it works for them. But if they are using that same way of speaking to women, it just shows that they're not used to talking to women. It's giving women avoid me and their lackluster social skills, the inability to code switch, is the reason why women avoid them. Men who are at some level socially literate know that they cannot talk to women the same way that they talk to their bros. So any man who talks to women like that, nagging, insulting women, especially when you just met them, that's a sign that they haven't had much interaction with women. And that's all you need to know. Like if other women knew better to avoid them, you should do the same. The vibe is immature with these men, and it's not your job to teach them how to be a proper grown adult, how to talk to other proper grown adults. Men don't owe women compliments, so we're not really expecting to be complimented. And to be honest, compliments from men, they just don't hit as much as compliments from other women. I'm saying no. Like, okay, you think I'm beautiful? Okay. But even the common human decency to not insult someone, Like, that's the bare minimum. And their below bare minimum low effort selves couldn't even reach the bare minimum to not insult women. Like, if someone at their ripe old age cannot comprehend that, the second reason as to why men love to nag women, to humble women, is because they themselves feel humbled. Everything is projection. You need to internalize this because this changed my life. Whenever someone isn't treating you right or talking to you right, it's not you. They're humbling you because they themselves feel humbled. So from this interaction, we see that this man, he felt insecure relative to this girl. So he had to bring up something that he thinks will be an insecurity for her because a lot of men, they love to insult women by telling them that they're manly, their voice is too deep, their bone structure is manly, blah, blah, blah. Like they love to insult women that they're manly. But she was like, you know what? This is my voice. It is what it is. 
Okay. He felt insecure relative to her, so he had to bring up an insecurity. Like out of all the things that he could have picked, he picked something that was transient. She's not gonna have that voice next week. So you need to be awake to the ways that people try to put you down. And it's not you, it's them. They want to put you down because just by you showing up has already put them down. That's your power. And I know you, you're a kind-hearted girly. You're not arrogant. And you don't want to believe that people think that you're better than them. You don't want to believe that people put you on a pedestal, but they do, okay? They do think you're better than them. They do put you on a pedestal above them. That's what insecure people always say. So you think you're better than me? When you don't think you're better than them, but they do, they think you're better than them. That's why they have to say it like that. That's why they're even acting out in the first place is because your mere presence provoked them. You literally existing, showing up, triggered their insecurities. They feel humbled, so they wanna humble you back. It's insecure behavior. And for the longest time I have struggled with this, for the longest time I have wondered, why are people so mean to me? And I refuse to believe this. Everyone who loves me, who cares for me, tells me this, they're just jealous. I refuse to believe it. I'm like, what is there to be jealous about? Like, I literally just show up and these people were mean to me. And you know what? There's a lot to be jealous about. I don't blame them. I'd be jealous of me too if I wasn't me. I'm just not a jealous person. And I know you aren't either. And the reason why us spoiled girlies don't get why people are so mean to us, why people insult us for no reason, is because we don't get the jealousy. Like we can't empathize. Like we don't understand because we're not jealous people. Like multiple people had to sit me down whenever I would tell them like, this person was mean to me, blah, blah. And they're like, listen. And for the longest time, I refuse to believe it. I just don't get it. Like, I don't get the feeling, okay? I don't understand why people would be mean to people that they're jealous of. Like why people would be mean to you for no reason. It is so disorienting when people are mean to you in this way because you've, you haven't done anything. And the truth is, they're just jealous. I know you don't get it because you're not a jealous person, but take it from me. They're just jealous. How often do I get complimented? Literally all the freaking time. <laughs> all the time? Yes, as deserved. Like, look at her. Does that make you, like, jealous a little bit? No. Oh, she gets complimented too. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh really? Uh, well, yes. not, well, not tonight for me. <laughs> I, I like this one right here. No, of course. Like, look at her. She's gorgeous. She is. Can you give me a spin, princess? Yes. Okay. That is classic nagging 101. Pitting two women against each other so that they would fight for your attention and validation. But it didn't work, obviously. Like, these two girls, they are girls' girls. They're like, whatever. You are not gonna pit us against each other. Like, to compete for who? You? Wait. You? Don't. I can't. I can't be mean. I really can't. Like, I'm so proud of these girls. Like, good for them. Okay, let's end it right there because the rest of the video just gets even more disrespectful and I'm just not gonna subject you to that. Let's get into the comments. Do y'all even like women at this point? He was always trying to humble a woman. I think he might like men, y'all. I read somewhere that a lot of men are gay, but they just don't know it yet. So I really hope that all the men who don't know that they're gay yet, they get into that self-discovery era of their lives because it would just save a lot of us women heartache. Like, who's gonna tell them? The older I get, the more I realize how many men are out there tearing women down low-key. This is exactly why I need you to cleanse your environment. Get rid of the guy friends. Get rid of people who don't speak kindly to you. Get rid of people who are bad energy. Get rid of people who don't spoil you. Get rid of people who don't do what they say they're gonna do when they say they're gonna do it. Get rid of people who don't live up to your expectations. Like the people who have access to you now, they need to be top performers. We're talking friends, family, romantic interests, the places you frequent, like everywhere you go and everyone you meet, they have to give you princess treatment. Or at the very least, respectful treatment. It's because you need to be sensitized, not desensitized, sensitized. Meaning you need to be more sensitive to bad energy, to bad treatment, to bad juju. Like I can sense the bad juju whenever I walk into a room. Like I haven't even talked to anybody yet. I just walk in and if there's bad juju in there, there's bad energy people, there's just bad people in there, I can feel it. And I, I just get the ick. Let me turn around. I'm gonna walk out. Like that's the vibe. And that's because I am only surrounded by people who are good energy, who are good vibes, who do good things for me, who speak to me kindly, who do what they say they're gonna do when they're gonna do it. Like, 
I am so spoiled in that way. And it's because I have curated my daily experiences to include only people, things, places, experiences that give me spoiled girly treatment. I'm so sensitive now. Like, I can't, I can't deal with it. And you need to start doing that too because it just makes your ick meter so sensitive because you're not surrounded by the ick all the time. So once you do experience it or feel it or sense it, you're like, oh, that's that. Bye. Next comment. I love how they both talk so positive about each other. They're both so kind and pretty. I love their vibe. Both girls are so pretty inside and out. Yes, I love to see it from these two. Like, I am so proud of them. The moment women wake up to the games that these below bare minimal effort men play on us, the better it is for the planet. This is such loser activity. Absolutely. Loser activity. And as we always say, men who do not have access to the attention and the presence of women, they are losers as per the rules of the games of men. Men like this are genuinely so insufferable and then we'll wonder why women won't ever talk to them. Moving on. I don't find you funny. When she the funniest person I ever met, but you have to humble her because she already has the looks and you can't give her too much. Whenever men try to access you, talk to you, they already see your value and they're hoping that you don't. It should be an absolute red flag to you when a man is trying to humble you. When a man wants to keep you insecure, when a man wants to keep you small, when a man discourages you from doing big things. When a man does that to you, it's because he knows that you're too good for him and he doesn't want you to know that. Because the day you find out that you are too good for him, that you can do better, you will leave, as you should. Because a man who is secure in how he perceives that you like him, in how he perceives how well-matched you two are, he wants you to have a healthy sense of self-worth, self-esteem. He will not spend his efforts trying to sabotage you and humble you. That's loser activity. When a man does that, he already knows that you're not well matched. He already knows that you can do better. The greenest of green flags is whenever a man supports you and anything that you do to improve yourself because he's not insecure. He wants to see you step into your highest calling, your brightest form. He wants to see you shine. And on top of that, he gives you the time, the space, the energy, the network, the opportunities, the resources to do whatever it is to make your shine brighter. Like, that's a green flag. It's only the most insecure men who wanna humble the women they're with. And let's get into this, because whenever you have a partner, whatever they do is a reflection of you, and whatever you do is a reflection of them. That's just how it is. So when you as a woman, you shine bright. Spoiled girlies, by default, shine bright because women are the multipliers. When we are spoiled by other people, we multiply it back, we give it back. Like, I can spot spoiled girlies a mile away just by how they smile, just by how they glow. There's a vibe, okay? There's a vibe to the spoiled girlies. And if a man wants to humble you, a man wants you with low self-esteem, a man wants you perpetually insecure because they keep humbling you, you are a reflection of them. They are projecting their insecurities onto you so that you become a physical manifestation of their insecurity. So whenever you have an insecure woman, that is a reflection of the man being insecure because he made you that way. Okay, do you see it now? Like they keep trying to humble you because they themselves feel humbled. They keep trying to make you insecure because they themselves are insecure. They keep trying to sabotage your efforts in your career, your business, your endeavors, your hobbies, whatever. They keep trying to sabotage that because they are scared that you're gonna get too successful in relation to them because they're not at all successful, okay? Can we like not be in relationships with people who hate us? Like, can you recognize that you are in a relationship with a hater? And it doesn't start automatically when you get into a relationship with them. Like it starts when you're on a first date, second, third date. They keep trying to humble you. They're not gassing you up. It's not that you're clinging to any form of validation from them, but you just need to watch out for whenever they humble you. Because I know you're great. You're beautiful. You're accomplished. You're kind. You're gentle. And you're all that. You're used to hearing that you are that from both men, women, children, like everyone is obsessed with you. So that's the default. Like any man who doesn't do that, who keeps himself from complimenting you, like, you know, you're already all that. So they're trying to humble you because you already know. And here's the thing too, that a lot of women, especially beautiful women, accomplished women, they actually don't get a lot of compliments. 
everyone thinks that you already get a lot of those compliments and so they don't compliment you especially beautiful women you walk around and everyone's staring at you and it makes you insecure it gives you social anxiety because people are staring at you and they're not talking to you but they're staring at you it's disorienting and it gives you a lot of social anxiety like a lot of these girls that's why they don't want to go out because it's disorienting but i'm telling you now you need to look in the mirror okay that is your effect on people like people literally stare at you because you're beautiful. That's why it is also very important to have your own self-concept because you need to know who you are and the things that you can command in a market where the things that you have, people are willing to access and trade time, energy, resources to access. Like have your self-concept on lock because everyone who wants to take advantage of you will want to gaslight you and will want you to doubt your own self-concept. Like you don't know me, so you can't tell me who I am. You need to get more into your abundance mindset because as a woman, everyone wants to access you. Like literally everyone wants to access you. And that's your gift as a woman. It can be a double-edged sword for sure because people want to access you and they will do anything and everything to access you. So don't worry if this man is like, oh, well, you're asking for too much. Okay, I'm asking too much from you. Like stop making irrelevant people who want to disrespect you as a strategy to access you feel special. Like don't make them feel special. Like, okay, you think that way, but I know someone else who doesn't. Unless they give you proper treatment, like these irrelevant people, they are nothing to you. So this is why my man always sounds like he's kind of sneezing. She misspelled X. Insecure men are the worst. This really is what it boils down to. Insecure men. Everything is projection. So when someone is trying to make you insecure, it's because they themselves feel insecure relative to you and that's your sign to run away like run don't walk literally run sprint okay as a spoiled girly living in her light you need to avoid people who are insecure with a totality okay like don't even let them know anything about your life like if you had breakfast today you cannot let them know okay insecure friends insecure family members insecure co-workers insecure men like they don't occupy space in your life. They have such hate-filled hearts and they will not stop until they have demonized and drained you enough so that they are no longer insecure in relation to you. But you're favored, you are chosen, and they will never succeed. But the emotional distress that these people make you go through, it's not worth it. So they will never succeed. They will never make you as insecure as they are. They will never sabotage your life so that your life how it is is no longer a source of insecurity for them. They will always be insecure of something. And right now it's you. You need to make yourself no longer the focus of their insecurity. Make them focus on someone else and let that someone else deal with it and see it and then move on until these people run out of sources of insecurity. You will never not be a source of insecurity for these people. Like, do not put it upon yourself to cure their insecurity. That is not your task, okay? Move on. Live your best spoiled girly life. No one who cares for you and loves you truly will ever want to humble you. That's all I have for you today. I just wanted to let you know that you have so much inherent worth and value in a world that is hell-bent on devaluing you. Now get that bag, bestie.